Hello everyone. I wanted to create a video talking about the Toby iTracker 5. I purchased one recently, a couple days ago. It came in the mail and I've been having mixed results and I wanted to um, create a video to highlight those to hopefully um, help get them resolved if other people have been having problems with it and have solved these problems or if the Toby support team watches this and says oh I see what's happening that would be great so I installed the I plugged it first of all I plugged in the Toby eye tracker and it did not it did not auto detect and start doing anything I had to go to the Microsoft store and install the uh, Toby experience um, that was the instructions and the Microsoft store would not download it so I went ahead and went to the Toby website and downloaded the Toby Game Hub and the Toby Ghost, um, which wouldn't work until this was installed, until the Toby experience was installed. So finally, after several failed attempts, the Toby experience software did finally download. And then I um, installed the drivers manually afterwards because the the um that was re what was recommended to me so if so right now the state of it is it kind of works so if i turn on the preview my gaze um you can see as i look around there it is so it's working the primary reason i bought this was for star citizen and that is the main game I'm having problems with, unfortunately. So let's turn this off and I'll show you a few things to kind of show that it is working. The Toby Eye Tracker 5 is not as plug and play as they make it seem. For instance, some games require not only that you have the Toby experience running in the background, but also that you need um, the Toby Game Hub running. And this isn't documented at all anywhere you just kind of have to figure it out so if you for instance one of these games is um, farming simulator 22 here we are in farming simulator 22 now as you can see there's no eye tracking happening here that's because um, i also found out it doesn't happen in first person like like it doesn't happen when you're out walking around i guess that kind of makes sense it's mainly meant for the vehicles but uh, when you do get it in a vehicle um, you see, I'm looking around and I, I have the sensitivity turned down a bit because it's a little jarring. Like what's kind of weird to, and this is just, this is nothing wrong with the device. This is just me. But if you look to the right, if I keep looking to the right, to the right, to the right, it turns clear around. It's just, it's a little disorienting, but, um, that's just something I need to get used to. That's not. So then when you're driving and you're looking around. You can still like you can still like drive forward while looking to the side, which is really neat. So as you can see in um, Farming Simulator 22, it's working just fine. OK, this is the Hunter Call of the Wild. It is a hunting game and also supports um, the Toby Eye Tracker 5 and it uh, works pretty good. Again, the sensitivity is not really high. Um, but looking around definitely moves the mouse. So it's just a matter of setting it up to preferences, you know, what preferences work best for me. But it's functioning. Um, I believe if we go into the settings, Toby Tracker, yeah, see, Toby Tracker enabled, it, it, it recognizes that it's there. Now let's go and look at some of the games that are also native to native support for the Toby Eye Tracker 5, where it doesn't 
see that it's there. All right, so here we are in Warhammer Vermitide 2. This has native support, which means it all you have to really do is just turn it on. But if we go into the options here, you see it has Toby eye tracking and we click on it and there's no settings whatsoever. And in fact, if you click on this, it just sends you to the website to buy it because it doesn't detect that it's there. So I can click apply or default. It doesn't. Yeah, OK, let's set it to it doesn't matter. Apply. And so then if we play the game, here we are. There is no eye tracking at all. I am looking around. Nothing's happening. It is not there because it's not detected. It feels like it is not detected. Again, going to the options, there's no settings for sensitivity or anything because it's not being detected. And then finally, let's look at Star Citizen. Okay, as you can see, uh, here we are in Star Citizen. Um, I have no eye tracking at all here, and but Star Citizen is a little tricky to set up, so let's look at the options. So if we go into here, you can see I have the face wear turned off because I'm not using face wear. If I turn it on, it works, um, but I'm not using face wear. I have Toby turned on as the general um, source of head tracking. So here's where it gets kind of fuzzy. Like there's no like, I can't find a clear guide on what should be set here. But to me, it's like general toggle enabled. No, I don't want a toggling. I want it where you press a key to turn it on. I want it just on. So to me, that's no. I've also tried yes. It doesn't work. Um, use position in cockpit. Uh, no. Um, auto recalibrate. Yes. Um, disable when seated. No. So it should be on when you're seated. Um, disable during first person. No. So that you're running around and you should have it on. So... If we go down to the Toby settings itself, so this is the general, see general head tracking. And here's some of the settings for general head tracking. And then um, for face wear is here. And then the Toby stuff is here. And this is all just scaling for um, the sensitivity of it all. So. I'm not sure what more I need to do here, but unlike the other games that just don't recognize the Toby, I, uh, I feel like this is. It's just not working properly. Let's see if I can get an example of it here. So obviously here I'm looking around, you know, nothing's moving. There's no eye tracking whatsoever. Um, Holding F lets you move your head. But I was having it to where it wasn't letting me move my head by pushing F. Let's see. Yeah, we have a ship in here. This is, um, th it was doing it during the um, Star Citizen 3.17 build. It was doing it um, 3.17.5. This is 3.18 now. This is the second day of it and there are issues, but it was doing the same thing before the patch, so it has nothing to do with that. Okay, so here we are in the seat. Um, I'm looking around. There's no tracking whatsoever. Um, I can... I, so, so what I was seeing before is it would not let me turn my head and click on things when I had Toby turned on. So when I would go in here and have this turned on, so let's turn it off and see if I can get that happening again. So here it is completely off. All right, now uh, let me see if I turn it back on. Okay, there it is on. Hmm. 
Yeah, before it wasn't letting me do anything. It was doing this. When I would hold F down. And F is, of course, kind of like the free look to let you click on things. But it, when I had Toby turned on, it wasn't letting me do that. Now, I have the Game Hub and the Toby Experience running right now. Which, again, the documentation isn't really clear. See, you see there, it's kind of like sticking. See? See what I mean? It's like sticky. I don't know if you can see what I mean, but... It feels like it's on. And it's just not... Hmm. <laughs> there you go. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely not turning on. I don't know what other settings you need to do in here. Like, it feels like, like it was suggested that maybe there's another program that is running that is stomping it like maybe i have um tracker i what is it i something i i don't have any of those it's tracker ir i don't have tracker ir i don't have any of these i even went in to my um settings or my apps and just to see if maybe a game installed it and i just didn't know but there's nothing in there it's so i don't know um General toggle, yes. I didn't switch that, did I? We it was no earlier. But if I like go through my settings here, if anyone sees something that oh this you have something switched wrong, it should be this. Please, by all means, tell me what that is. Toby first person auto center enabled, yes. Yeah, here we go. Here's what it was doing. It's not... See, it doesn't let you turn when you're in first... Per, when I push F, which is the free look, I get no... No turning. So that was in a Toby setting. So that makes me feel like the game knows it's there. The game knows it's running, but it's just not running correctly. So if I go back and switch that. Return to game. Now if I hold F. Oh, I still don't have it. Okay, let's go back again. Let's do this. Uh, no, set it to no. So now we have it set to no where it was before. Yeah, now we're looking all over the place. I guess that is a general head tracking setting. So, you know, your guess is as good as mine. But from what everyone I've spoke to has said that it just works for Star Citizen. You plug it in and it works. Now, disappointingly, um, I have been speaking with the Toby support about this and they... Um, are kind of stumped as well. They're not finding anything, any reason it shouldn't be working here. And to the point where I think they're getting a little desperate and they said, well, you know, Star Citizen isn't a released game and we can't guarantee it working on a non-release game. And that's, that's really, that's a little underhanded because they advertise through Star Citizen streamers, through the Star Citizen YouTubers. They have them, um, they have them, pushing the product and it, it, you can't do that you can't push a product in a in a game and then go oh well, we're not going to support it because it's not released yet that's especially star citizen which let's be honest is never going to release so that's a little underhanded so if you know any reason this would be happening any reason my toby is working in some games and 
and not others. And in release games, I mean, Vermintide 2 is a release game. It is native supported. It is supposed to work with the Toby Eye Tracker 5, and it does not in my system. So I'd like to know your thoughts on um, what it could be. So thank you very much, and uh, see you next time.